Hello everyone and welcome to the World Blitz Championship. The World Rapid Championship ended with Magnus Carlsen clinching first place with a full point ahead of everyone else and now it's time for two days of Blitz. We're not going to be covering uh, a lot of games like we did in the Rapid section since it would be impossible. The Blitz games just happen too fast. Uh, but if I uh, see any I like, uh, I'm definitely going to show them and of course do use hashtag suggestion uh, to uh, inform me of any other uh, nice games uh, that were played. So this is a game from round th two, both of them uh, won their games in round one, it's Magnus Carlsen versus Russian Grandmaster Vladimir Belov, and uh, well, uh, let's check it out. Magnus with the white pieces opens with e4, we have c6, d4 and d5, the Karo Khan is on the board, and here uh, Magnus not interested in finding out the Russian Grandmaster's uh, preparation in the Karo Khan, just goes for the exchange variation, we have e captures, c captures, Something that we would very, it's not very likely that we would see this in a classical game, for example. Uh, bishop d3, knight to c6, we have c3, strengthening the center, knight f6, and bishop to f4. Magnus goes for the Rubinstein variation. We have bishop to g4, uh, attacking the queen, and queen to b3 now, putting pressure on b7. Queen to d7, defending, and now knight to d2. Uh, we have e6, uh, closing the structure now that the light square bishop has been developed, preparing to develop the dark square bishop as well. Knight g to f3 and bishop to d6 now, offering a trade. Now for those of you who perhaps don't know, uh, these are three minutes, three minute games and you have a two, two seconds increment. So knight e5, uh, sticking a knight nicely in the center of the board, uh, and queen to c7 now, getting the queen out of the way and also putting pressure. If you move the knight, you could lose the bishop on f4. And while Magnus could go for knight captures on g4, he prefers to keep the tension with castles. Uh, Belov also castles, and here rook a to e1. Uh, so just, uh, you know, mobilizing pieces. Bishop to h5, uh, five, uh, getting the bishop out of uh, harm's way, and now bishop to g3. Now the knight can move and the bishop is nicely protected. Bishop to g6, and here Magnus grabs it. With bishop ca knight captures on g6, h captures, and the other knight now comes to f3. And here there is a game from 1966. It was played by uh, Nicolas Rosolimo himself. He played it against Eduardo Perez, uh, where Perez played uh, bishop captures on g3. Uh, and uh, Rosolimo was able to win this game, but rook a to b8 in this game, and it is as of move 15 that we have a completely new game. So Magnus decides that this game is not uh, going to take place on the queen side, uh, he transfers the queen over to the king side, we have queen c2, rook f to c8, uh, uh, <laughs> Belov doesn't agree, he wishes to play on the queen side, and queen to e2 now. We have knight to e7, and now bishop captures on d6. Uh, we have queen captures, and now sticking the other knight to e5. And now you could challenge it with knight to c6, Magnus would play f4, again keeping it uh, there. If you capture, then you get f captures, you open up the f file to, to be used for, for rooks. So knight to f5, uh, and Magnus doesn't appreciate this knight here, so he just kicks it back. We have g4. Knight back to e7 and f4 now. Now, cementing this knight in the center of the board. We have a6. Belov now wants to push b5 and b4 to, uh, to, to bust open the queen side and make use of his two rooks. Uh, and here, Carlsen has to decide whether he wants to uh, go for queen g2 and f5 or, he per or perhaps he wants to go for rook f3, h3 and maybe put a queen on h4, maybe try and checkmate the black king. Uh, Magnus prefers uh, the queen g2 idea. With b5, Belov continues playing on the queen side, and now, as Peter Leko said, it's it's mating time. So f5. Uh, so what do you do here? Uh, we have uh, e uh, e captures on f5. We have g captures on f5. Knight captures, bishop captures, pawn captures, and rook captures. So all of the captures were were uh, necessary. And now b4, continuing to play on the queen queen side. Although this was perhaps a bit too optimistic, maybe uh, just. Uh, uh, a nice defensive move would have been better, rook b6, uh, getting the rook to help out with the defense of the king's side. But okay, it's a blitz game, Belov pushes b4, and now rook e to f1, already with the threat of rook captures on f6, since the g-pawn would be pinned. King to f8, unpinning, but now rook to g5, putting pressure on g7, and there's no good way to defend the pawn. For example, if you, if you push it, uh, you, Magnus can just capture it, and after pawn captures, queen captures, there's the threat of mate, and also there's just the threat of uh, rook captures, which uh, wins the queen, and also mates fairly quickly. So, definitely mating time. Uh, we have b captures on c3 instead, uh, and Magnus just goes for it. Rook captures on g7. C captures on b2 and rook captures on f7 with check now. 
King to e8, and here uh, you can uh, continue this game in a lot of ways, uh, but uh, the quickest one, the one Ma Magnus uh, chose, well, quickest is queen to g7, uh, but Magnus decided to go for queen to g6, uh, threatening a lot of nasty discoveries here, and it was in this position on move 31 that uh, Vladimir Belov resigned the game, as there is nothing more to be done here. Uh, point being that if you, for example, bring a queen into the game, uh, then it's just rook f8 check, you clear the f7 square for your queen, uh, it's a double check from the queen and the rook, so you have to capture it and then just queen f7 mate, for example. Or after queen to g6, you could try running away, king to d8, uh, but then it's just rook 7 captures on f6, the queen is under attack, and whatever, let's say you move the queen, then it's, uh, well, rook f8 check, uh, king has to move, king to c7, for example, and now queen to c6 is mate. So a lot of very uh, interesting checkmates, and uh, well, Ma Ma Magnus wins his round two game against Russian Grandmaster Vladimir Belov. So a pretty clean game, and uh, as you see, it's not very often that we, w we will see an exchange uh, in, in the Karl Khan, since uh, it's considered that white just doesn't get all that much out of the opening. But for Blitz, anything goes, especially for, for Magnus. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. We're not going to be covering all that many games. Like I said, too many of them are being played too fast. And if one really, uh, you know, presents itself that it should be shown, we're going to show it and do use hashtag suggestion if you have, uh, if you're, you know, watching one of your favorites and it turns out to be a beauty. So yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Dali Boryaklin for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. Really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of the World Blitz Championship. Thank you all, I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your Sunday.